but for the sake of our audience and especially our students or others who might aspire to be songwriters, could you take one of your recent songs and walk us through the process? I can, yeah. I got one that's kind of new, it's still learning. So in February, um, I'd had a hard winter. Uh, my dad died. I was just feeling kind of down. I wasn't going through menopause. My hormones are nuts. So um, I, I had been working on this song for a long time that wasn't working. And so one morning I just thought, well, I'll just write. And I started writing with just a meter and an idea. And I was just writing. On, I wasn't with my guitar. And I just wrote this thing that said, put away all your anger. Put away all your sad. Put away all the winter. It's just a dream you had. And I had this line. I thought, OK, that's got rhythm because it's got to, your, your, your thing's got to have a rhythm and um and i've been listening to john prine uh interview and john prine is not worried about a melody he's not worried about it at all so um i i probably started anywhere but i uh this is not gonna be we're not gonna actually play it i'm gonna just put it and tear it apart so um so i just and when i started it i just put away all of your anger Put away all of your sad, sad, sad. Put away all of the winter. It's just a dream you had. So all I did was I went one, four, five chords. I just went through a circle of chords and I just used my words. And it's one of those songs that just laid out. Those are easy songs, in my opinion, to write because they just lay out. I, I have another one I'll talk about that was so much harder. But um, and then I would spend a lot of time then thinking about what the chorus was. And eventually I worked in into a place where I had this verse. And I'll, I'll tell you that the interesting thing was about how to make the chorus different from the verse. Because often in songwriting, we have this great thing, this little piece of material that's four lines with the melody. And the question is, how do we make the chorus different? And the one thing I got out of the Berkeley College of Music website was, um, maybe it was Pat Pattison, somebody, they give these little free little videos for 30 seconds, so you'll sign up. And I watched the 30, and the videos, the 30 seconds was, if you can sing the words of your chorus to the melody of your verse, or vice versa, they're too similar. They don't work. It's too, and I've always thought that was a brilliant piece of information. So I have this verse that goes, let's see. Put away all of your anger. Put away all of your sad. Put away all of the winter. It's just a bad dream you had. And then I had, I, I needed something else, and I've had for years this line, I will love you to the moon. I got it in a dream. Never know what to do with it. And I'm always trying to stick it in a song. So I tried to stick it in this one, and it worked. And take out that little seed, the hope that we all need. I will love you to the moon. And I just had that for a while, and I was doing my taxes. So I just thought, what would the next line be? Put away all your receipts, because I don't really put it. What you owe and what you'll keep. So I'm staying saying, Verses, same melody. Your plan to survive if the drop is sudden and steep. And everything in this line, song, for my rule, is it has to actually talk to me. And my dad had died. And I'm like, how am I going to survive with what I inherited? You know, will I die? So that's what that, your plan, I don't know why that's doing that. Sorry, Bill. Uh, Put away all your receipts, what you owe and what you'll keep. Your plan to survive if the drop is sudden and steep. Let the afternoon come. Maybe not get anything done, because by now I have a melody, I have, I have a rhyme scheme. You know, these first two lines rhyme and the last two lines rhyme, and then there's a line at the end that doesn't have to rhyme to anything. I will love you to the moon. And the chorus shows up as a piece. It's a total gift, but it starts out to the moon. Uh, uh, to the moon on the mornings when you're feeling old. All the warnings you were ever told seem to be coming true. And you can't remember how or why love might hang in your sky and i had it that way for a while and the problem is they're too similar so i one day thought i i'd also gone to another fabulous songwriting workshop by a woman named susan catanio and she had this one piece of info i get like one piece of information from all speech, and she said if you're going to have a note in your chorus don't let it show up in your verse <coughs> let it just be show it's got to be special if you use it a lot in your in your verse it's not going to be special when you show up in your chorus. So, so I thought, well, okay, well, let's find a note I haven't used. To the moon. So, it, so I thought, okay, I've got to change it. To the moon on the mornings when you're feeling old. All the warnings you were ever told seem to be coming true. To the moon when you can't remember how or why love might hang in your sky. 
so what I have now is I have a song that has a verse and a chorus, and I actually am not entirely sure that it's done yet, because they tell you that you need to have, you know, off you need to have a bridge, doesn't need to have a bridge. I'm probably gonna live with this song for a while, because I don't have to record it. it. It might need something else, but I'm pleased with how it just showed up. I've had other songs, so, you know, take 10 years, because they just don't show up. I'm not sure if that answers what you were asking for, but. No, exactly what I was asking okay. yeah. Yeah, is that, I mean, that, I think that gives us a picture. Let me ask you, you know, kind of a follow on from there. So that, that's sort of that, you're still in that mode of the really creative yep. process, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Talk about editing. Oh my God, I edit things to death. I am a bad, I'm bad news with editing. That's a problem for me is I over edit, but it's not, it's not that you shouldn't edit. Um, I, I, I have students who write a song and they come into my workshops in these adult camps and they're like, I wrote a song, it's ready, it's done. I mean, this is an hour after he started it. And he's like, it's done. And I kind of want to say, you know, you might want to check in with it tomorrow. See if tomorrow you might want to change it. For me, editing is over time. We are all in love with our song when we first write it. So am I, I think it's perfect. I want you to hear it exactly as it is and I can't think of anything that needs to change. But the next day, I go, oh, I didn't notice that. There's that little, there's that little weird spot right there. Or I get bored. Uh, you know, if you come to, if you, I, I find if you, you're getting through a song and there's a spot where I get bored of singing it, definitely needs work. If I'm getting bored, my, my audience is definitely gonna get bored. Um, or there's a place where I mumble. I, I've talked to other people about this. If there's a spot in your song where you mumble, you probably don't feel really good about those lyrics. You probably need to change them because you're mumbling them because you don't think they're that good. Um, for me, editing is also done by trying them out on people. I perform them. There's a way that an audience will look like they're watching you, and then there's the time when they go, you know, and they're clearly checking out. And if I have a new song, then they do that. I think, that song isn't that good. I think of a song as a three-minute piece of, in, of energy, and it's gotta be energized, very energized, to keep your attention. I mean, I play to people who've never heard my songs all the time. I'm not usually going back to people who are like, oh, we love that one, we heard it on the radio. You know, that's not my life. My life is, you gotta love it the first time. So it's gotta be really energized and it's gotta be user-friendly. You gotta. So can you give us, can you think of an example? And I know this is a little bit, little bit uh, inside baseball, a little bit revealing, but can you give us an example of an edit that you did? We say, you know, I thought that, you know, this is what I had and it was okay, but when I was, when I, when I was editing, I found this. That it got better. Yeah. The edit got better. Yeah. Can you um, play us something, show us an example of that. Yeah, um, where the edit made it better, because I got a lot where the edit made it worse. <laughs> uh, right, now well, I got, right now I get edits that make it, um, make it uh, worse. Let me, let me just think about that for a second. Um, you know, I don't remember the beginning of one that would work. Oh, yeah. This morning we rearranged the verses. And it made a huge difference. And this chorus, this is a new song, this chorus, Charlie, uh, I had, so here's how, this, here's how this song used to start. And here's how the chorus used to go with it. And Charlie's gonna wait it out for a minute. The Irish, they have curtain, oops. The Irish, they have curtains, some are lace, some are not. Through that Irish window my father's father fought His way up through the signs the Irish need not apply He said the family's all you can trust On your side, on your side Your side And the, the verse, it, it's a lot of verses with that Your side it wasn't ever quite taking off energetically, and this is now musically, it's not uh, lyrically. Um, and the song had started with a line, sorry, I shouldn't shake my head, with a line that was, I have my mother's silver and I run my father's store. That's what I'd written it based on, because uh, I had my mother's silver and I was running my father's money, because he's in a nursing home, and, 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 and I wanted to talk about that in the terms of our current world, because I have a family that's very divided anyway. So. Um, but I thought I had to start at the beginning. My grandfather, see my father's father, that's supposed to be the beginning, and then the beginning of my mother. And it turned out today, we thought, you know what, let's start in the mid again. There's that, here we are in a university, I will mispronounce it, in media res, res. You start in the middle of the story. And 
And so what I ended up doing is realizing I have to start in the middle of this story. And often we need to start in the middle of the story. I have a lot of students where they write the song and actually the first verse just got them into it. And the second verse is actually their first verse. But they don't know that because they think you need all this information. And we are often brought into a song much more if we start right in the middle. So that's the lyrical thing, but, uh, and we'll do the whole song, but Charlie, so this chorus, Your side, and I played it for a couple months this way, and which side, and as one person, it's not bad, but the time you've heard that chorus five times, you're a little tired of it, and it doesn't make you want to sing along. It just doesn't quite have it, and I didn't know why. And this is when one of the, this is when the notes are, are magic energy. You don't quite know why a note, I mean, anybody can tell you about the theory, but when they actually talk to you about coming up with a melody, in books they say, it's, you're lucky, you had inspiration. You don't build a brilliant, you don't build one of those magic melodies, they show up. Uh, and I'm not saying this is magic, but Charlie's improved this. So, so what happened is we're playing this chorus, and now Charlie, I'm gonna have you. Charlie starts coming up with a way to sing it, and so he's singing at harmony, and I'm changing my harmony. So now let's sing the, cho the chorus the way it is now. Yeah, you can play it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which side? He changed his note, so I changed my note. And this, to me, I mean, you may all disagree, because we just did this like two weeks ago, but we think this is a better chorus. Which side? Which side? And I'm not even sure yet what we're going to do it, but hopefully it's going to make you want to sing along. So now we're going to do the whole song for you. Okay, ready? Okay. So Charlie, you're gonna play your little riff. Cause now we have a hook. So we're gonna do it again, cause we have a hook. I have my mother's silver, but I run my father's store. My father and my mother came from a long tribal war. The Catholic and the Protestant, they never could agree. And dividing up the world just comes natural to me. <clears throat> and the Irish, they have curtains. Some are lace and some are not. And through that He said the family's all you can trust on your side Which side? Which side? And on my mother's side they would recite the family tree God freed his wing with all of his pilgrim progeny And there's a family homestead historic sign and they'd like you to know they have been here a long time on this side well, we hope you want to sing along which side and oh now the family what will we do because there are cousins who are red and there are cousins who are blue and we get Yeah, and, and I was starting to cough on it. Oh my God, I got to make these laugh ears. I can't do that.